Hello everyone, as a 46 here. Welcome to episode 11 of Station Ears. So I asked you guys yesterday what you'd like to see, and in the comments you said that you'd like to see a um, hydroponics center. So I've decided to go ahead and make one. So as you can see I've already started in the basic room, which is right next to my old base. So at the moment I've just got the back wall in, the floor and the glass roof. So the idea is to build a full hydroponics center here that should grow plants. So let's go ahead and get started. So you can see I got these tank connectors here. The idea is going to be that we have these outside and if you look over back in the old gas room I've constructed two containers, one with carbon dioxide, one with water. So what you do is you put the water tank here obviously, you turn the valve on and the pressure in this would go up. As you can see it's going up pretty slowly. So then instead of bringing a small canister over you just deconstruct this with a wrench, just like that, and then you carry this over so you get bigger storage. So the water is needed to grow the um, hydroponic pots, and then the carbon dioxide is obviously needed to be put in the air, which means we have to have an airlock here. So for this episode we're going to make a manual airlock, because automatic airlocks are kind of bugged at the moment, but other than that, we should be good. So first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to place these tank connectors outside. So we want to face the plus towards the base, like that. Move this out of the way really quick. And we'll probably move these as well. I don't even know if these have anything in them, but they're in the way, so. Ooh, there we go. Flipped it really easily. So this, oh we placed it already, so we'll place the other one. Same direction. Now, just for simplicity, so we don't get confused which one's which, we're going to go ahead and spray paint them. We have lots of spray paint spare back here. So we want blue and then the black can. And yeah, we'll bring it over here. So, let's paint them like that. Now they'll never get cross contaminated or put in the wrong way. Oh, that's an auto save. Back's back again. So, what we want to do is, to put that um, the water tank back on there, what you need to do is, go like that, put it right there, probably if you actually land on there it'd be nice, grab the wrench out, I gotta drop it, grab the wrench out and then connect it like that, and it pops in, grabs the pipe down the bottom automatically, and then all we'd have to do is connect that pipe through to the hydroponics. So we have a lot of gear on the floor obviously. This is the hydroponic trays here. So you see the pluses like that, they have to connect to water, but these can also connect to each other. And they also have to have sunlight, which is why we've got the glass roof and the glass panel right there. At the moment we're going to stick with one row, just in the middle, and we can see how that grows and based on that we'll either expand or not. So what we want to do is, we want pipe, we probably need more pipes in the future, but this will get us started. Grab some pipes through the wall, this wall here, and I'm connected up to the hydroponic um, trays. Okay, rotate the corner, Oop, there we go. And just in case you guys are wondering, I've already worked out what we're doing for next episode. It's going to be fully automating the furnaces. They're already automated, but what we're going to do is we're going to get a lot of them, and they're going to be um, they're going to start start sorting stuff. So what I mean by that is, you put something in, like you put all the different ores in. Doesn't matter where you put them, and then it sorts them into like a pile of the same ore. If that makes sense. So at the moment, what we have is um, this chute here. So you put it in, it's the ingots out. But what we're going to do is it's going to put it into its own bay and make it sorted and nice. Or we even put it into a stacker. And while we're here, we do need more pipes. So I'll be right back once we've got more pipes. Okay, guys, we're back. We have 20 pipes. It's good enough for the water system, but we'll probably need more for the actual um, carbon dioxide slash air filtration system. So, we need to run power to this. 
but we do have a lot of cables. We have more here, so we don't have to craft more. And yes, it connects this side. The power's over there, so we could probably go up through here, around there, and connect around, if that makes sense. We need the straight. There we go. So, one extra benefit is of this um, center. So, number one, it grows plants, but number two, it will actually generate oxygen for us. So, it gets rid of carbon dioxide and makes oxygen, which we can actually um, put in the tank and breathe, which is really good since our production over here isn't that great. It works, but we don't have enough ore to put it. We don't have enough. We don't have enough oxide ore to put in, so we're not getting that much oxygen out of it. So, every bit of oxygen we can get helps. Um, I'm wondering if I can if I jump jetpack up here. Low. Oh, I need to refill my jetpack as well. Oh, fell it. Just trying to get that cable in. The snap point's kind of hard to get, but we will do it. So I'll bring the cable across the roof, and then we'll connect it to the power source already connected over there. We're also eventually going to need to expand our solar panels, because it's our power gen is starting to get low. Oh, there we go, what a save. I've also got some really cool plans planned for the solar panel system. But you'll have to wait and see. So, the cable's down here. We're probably going to want a junction here. Because there's going to be an airlock right there. And lots of power is needed for that. Corner. I can't really see what the rotation is. There we go. Is that not right? Oh, there we go. Bring it, Oop. Bring it down. And, yeah, it's working. We just need to make it a corner here. And then just straight here. Kind of awkward space, but we'll get it. Oh, had it. Now rotated too far. There we go. So that should, in theory, have power. If we turn it on, we'll be able to see. Yep. So what this will do is make sure the water goes the right way and through these hydroponic trays, which is obviously what we want. Um, what we can do now is assemble the airlock. So we want to make sure the cables are facing in, like this. And why isn't this place? It's stuck on something. So that one works. This one doesn't. Is it because there's a tank here? That's what I'm wondering. Or is it the cable? Um, what we can do is go ahead and remove the tank really quick, see if the tank's the problem or not. Because it could be that it's colliding with the collision box. Could even be the cable here. We'll just do some testing, see what it is. It could be the cable, in fact. Yeah, it was the cable. So that's fine, we're just going to run the cable around a bit further. So we'll just grab the rest of this ball. Okay, dokie. Rotate this here. Just straight there. Then we need a straight one here. Which we can't place. Okay. So that's why it was colliding right there. That's why we couldn't do it. So I'll have to make it go around further. Which is perfectly fine. Corner here. Straight one. It's always hard to line up when there's not a um, iron frame below, because it goes through the world, kind of. And it will cut this cable here and make a junction. And then it should be, should be all connected up then. And we'll be able to get power into the um, airlock room. So we want a corner here, probably. And then another corner here, over here, sorry. And then junctions on these two points. Here and here. Then we've got straight, if we can find it, there we go. And 
Yeah, we'll go corner again. There we go. Put a corner on this one. Oh, went too far. And then a bunch of straights in between it. And that means our airlock should have power, which means we can open them. Yep, it works perfectly fine. Awesome. So the reason you have to have the airlock is obviously because it's going to be carbon dioxide in the air to make the, because that's what plants um, breathe. So they breathe carbon dioxide and they output um, oxygen, which we can breathe. So, pretty much out of cables, but we only need more for the aircon outside later. Now that we have um, that done, the airlock, what we can do is start welding up some of these walls. Just one for now, I believe, because it needs to be tier two like that, so you can place the sensor number one. The sensor is going to be a gas sensor, so we can, de can detect how much gas is in this room. And number two will be, if I can find it, should be an active vent somewhere here. There it is. There we go, we only need one. So we place the active vent around the other way, I reckon. Because we went there, big hole at the top, small hole at the bottom. Now, if we get our cables back, we probably don't have enough. Um, I'll just put this iron away. Okay, so we need to connect both the bottom of this and bottom of that. So we need a junction here, like that. And then we can just get away with the corner here. Like that. Yeah, we're going to need more cable, so I'll be right back. I'll craft a fair few cables and I'll come back. We are back. We have 36 cables. Should hold us over for a while. So we're going to go ahead and connect this back up here. So, in theory, that should have power. Yep. But it's got an error because there's no pipe attached, obviously. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we want a uh, corner cable here. Another junction of corner. Um, in fact... We probably want to go up because we can't go through the airlock, so we'll have to go through the back way this way. So we're going to go ahead and remove this really quick. Just like that. So we do want a corner, but we want a corner going backwards. And now that we've placed this, they won't fall off anymore because we have them already placed, but you have to actually upgrade it to place them, so that wasn't a waste of time. Just, just saying. Okay, let's lay cables, um, pipes through here. It's probably not going to go through the door, is it? No. Okay. Didn't think so. Let's grab a corner instead. Another corner here. And then a straight to connect it up. So that's our first um, airway done, I guess. If you want to call it that. So now this shouldn't get an error. Yep. Perfectly fine. So that, in theory, should be working now. Um... We also want to connect up power inside the base, eventually. But this room's completely sealed apart from that one there, there, and those two. Which means we could probably seal those up. Because I don't believe we need more access on this side. We will need access on this side, but probably not over here. Um, yeah, our carbon dioxide's coming through. We can come through here. So we don't need access here, specifically. But we will need access here. Okay. Oh, I was in the wrong slide, didn't put it back. There we go. So, put this way as well. This can always go back here. Please tell me that works. There we go. And now we can get our carbon dioxide tank, which also needs a wrench to unclip it. Let's drag this over here. I was thinking of running a pipe, but. This is also good, so. And this way we don't have to, whoop. if we had a pipe running, we would have to, um, we wouldn't be able to mix gases in there. Because the tank would be always empty, obviously. Okay, that works. So now we're going to run a pipe from here, all the way into here, and just have an active vent here, or a passive vent, sorry. Um... We're running short in pipes. I'll just queue some more really quick. 
Let's run over and press the button. Yeah, making pipes at the moment. Yeah, no, yeah, look, looks really fancy. With all the lights and it flashes. Yeah, it's cool. Oop, oh, autosave. Okay, let's connect this up. So what's going to happen here is the carbon dioxide comes in this side and then it's going to have a vent over this side that pulls it out as well as um, oxygen. It's going to filter the oxygen out into another tank which we can um, bring back to the base and use obviously. And then from there it's going to cool down or heat up the carbon dioxide based on a thermostat. And if it's too cold obviously it'll warm it up, if it's too hot it'll cool it down. So from there, it will then put it into the base, and then do you find some breathe it in, and it's a constant cycle. So let's go and grab a passive vent because we don't actually have one at the moment. We have active vents, and that's a lot of pipes. Sadly, probably not enough though. Okay, we need to grab a passive vent. Where are you? Passive vent, right there. There we go. So you can drop these pipes for now and grab a passive vent. Kidoki. So this needs to go uh, on this wall and the inputs can be. Okay, so we need to weld this wall then, probably, just to place the um, passive vent down. But as soon as it's placed, we'll unmold it again, so we have more freedom. Oop, there we go. Put the welder away. Put the frames away. There we go. So we want this, I'd say probably up to the top, and then rotate it so the pipe's down the bottom like that. And then we can just make a curved pipe there. Um, curved corner. There we go. Oop, I scrolled. There we go. And we also want to get rid of this so we can walk through there freely. Okay, that should be working. I do not want to test it right now. Because, is it outputting at the moment? Oh no. That was outputting the whole time. I didn't put a gauge. I forgot to put a valve on there. That's just, that's not good news at all. Oh god. <laughs> Let me guess, is this one outputting as well? I don't think it is. Unless it's already... I don't know. I should have put valves on there. That was my big mistake. Do I have any valves? No, I have to make some. Oh god. I knew that was going to happen. Just pure unlucky. At least now we know don't copy what I do completely. <laughs> it's one, it's two. And yay they stack. That got over there somehow. <laughs> um, we're going to need some more carbon dioxide then, unfortunately. But we have some in our suit, so we'll be able to get rid of that, hopefully. Okay. Put valves in this time. Now we know. Gases do move. <laughs> okay. So now we need another active vent. We would also get a passive vent here, would be nice. But we need an active vent here to pull out the oxygen, and then another passive vent over here to put it back in. So we're gonna, of course, drop that really quick and weld it so we can place it down. Weld both these so we can place both of them. And put that back. So this is active vent. Again, we want it up top. It needs power as well, which is fine. And we'll go and grab another passive and then we'll continue from there. Okay, we've got the passive vents. Let's hook them up. We want this one. We need to connect it. We're going to rotate it and so There we go. And then we want another lag spike. There we go. We want another passive over here. And the oxygen will, and the carbon dioxide will come into the top. So we need the pipes again. 
We need to cut this pipe back. And then we'll change it to a corner. There we go. So that's the airlock pressure one. And then this one here will be the output, and that will be the back of the input again. So there's lots and lots of vents in this room. It's pretty complicated. But hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it works. Okay. So that was sucky out. And then we need to grab. Where is it? Somewhere. The atmospherics kit. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to go out here. We can get it out. <laughs> okay. Jump onto the roof really quick with our last remaining jetpack fuel. We want a filtration unit. Here. Here ish. Change that to a corner so it works better. Like that. This is of course the input. There we go. So what this is going to do is, it's going to filter the oxygen and carbon dioxide. And then put the oxygen into a tank. And then of course put the carbon dioxide into an air conditioner. I was going to go with the filter, right. Okay, oh, almost fell off. So that means the filtration, the oxygen is going to go this way. Power low. Actually, the oxygen is going to go this way and then the carbon dioxide is going to go this way. Okay, that's fine. So we want that one this way. We can even have it down and then that'll be out of the way completely. Because we can go down straight into a tank that we can fill up from. Like that. So that's going to go into a tank that we can fill up. And then this one here, it's going to rotate around, go through an air conditioning unit, and then go back into this hole here. So what we're going to do is, power is low, so we're going to go grab some more. Power critical. Here we go. And we need to make an atmospherics kit, if we can find it again. Somewhere here. Pressure regulator, no, 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 no. Atmospheric kit. So we need more gold. We should have some down the bottom, yep. 50. Sorry, cue that. Atmospherics. And this one will be a air conditioner. The first air conditioner we've ever placed. Yeah, my jetpack's really low, as you can see. So we're gonna have to fill that up soon. Just made it. So with this, comes in this way, can't place it on the edge, okay. So that's the cold air there, or the different temperature air, because we're going to set it to about 30 plus degrees probably. Um, so this is the input side, the hot or cold air comes in here, gets changed temperature, comes out of this one. And then you probably guess you're probably wondering what this hole here is. That's extremely hot or cold air that needs to be disposed of, which we'll dispose of using radiators. It gets um, put back into the air instead of back into the loop, which will make it hotter. And but there we go. Hard bit. There we go. So, this one, we'll make it a straight to get it away from the, away from the room. And then we'll just have radiators there that puts it out. Which we also have inside. If we can get inside. So that's the active vent. Don't really need that at the moment. We need pipe radiators. Okay. So what we want to do here is not fall in the hole like I did, but instead place these on here. Does that connect up? Or do I have to put a pipe through it? Yeah, you have to put a pipe through it, okay. Whoa. I should have put um, frames on the floor so I can walk there. There we go. So that will cool down the air, I suppose. It's auto saved. So in theory, this should work. But we also need to connect power up. Which is easily done. 
Oh, I did have a spare atmospheric skill. I didn't need to make another one. <laughs> My bad. Okay. So now it's going to connect power. Do we have power cables? We have 35. That should be enough. I hope. So we need to go up here. There's cable there. What does that connect to? Oh, it connects over there. Okay. I remember now. So we can actually make a junction here instead of a corner. Like that. Use our last remaining jetpack fuel. Get up here. Then we'll connect this over to the air conditioning units. Which I don't know where the power input is. There it is. So just the other power puts there. Okay. So what we'll do here is put that like that. We do not need data at the moment. So we can just go around like this. Let's make a janky cable that goes to both of them. Okay. Straight one. Can't connect it there, of course. Make a corner instead. Hopefully it doesn't affect the glass, but it shouldn't, because it's and we need sunlight in this one. Okay. In case you guys are wondering, you actually do need sunlight at the moment, so you can't make an underground one unless you have uh, glass on the top of the roof. So that's unfortunate. But I'm assuming they'll eventually make UV lights or something like that, add them to the game, and then it might be possible. There we go. So in theory, this should turn on. Yep, that works. And then the aircon. We want it at, oh, not that much, 30. And it spins around, that's so cool. The amount of detail put into the models of this game is just impressive. So if we have a look downstairs, it's currently 20 degrees in here, or 19.7, but it's also not airtight yet. So now we can go ahead and attempt to make it airtight and see if we made any mistakes yet, because we probably did somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so that's all sealed. It's all glass, so it doesn't need sealing. Uh, we can close this door and seal this up. Yeah, I think we have enough iron, which is good. And I broke the cable, of course. Um, yeah, don't weld over cables like the artist did. It's a bad idea. There we go, fixed it. Okay. This should be the last one. I believe this is airtight now. I think. No other space I've missed it, is there? It's glass, it's airtight, glass, glass, glass. Okay. Now what I want to do is turn this on. Oh, that doesn't have power. <laughs> See, I did forget something. Okay, there's power up above it. Um, there's probably power here as well. So we'll probably open this up here. Yeah, there's power right there. We'll just tap into that. If we can. Let's hope we have enough cables now. We need a junction. There we go. See, always you just you just always forget one thing. Like it's always one other thing you got to do. But at least we figured it out now before we put the carbon in the air, and then we'd have to drain the whole room. Corner. There we go. And. That should have power now. Yep, that turns on. I think that's sucking. Is that sucking? I don't know. Uh, now it's sucking, okay. I believe, anyway. So I put these cables back, grab the boulder again, fix this wall here. There we go. Okay, so move this stuff out of the way for now. Just 
least, so it's not in F1. Okay, it's 19.7 in here. Is it any hot in the event? I don't think so. So there's no pressure in here at all. So what we're going to do now is close that up. That doesn't need to be vented. Um, what we can do is actually... I just realised we put the... Um, the thingies inside there. The... Um, valves. But... What we can do is we can actually turn them on and just leave them on for now. And we'll weld this back up. Because in theory they don't need to be touched ever, so we'll see. And also, I just remembered, there's no carbon in this because it all drained out into the atmosphere. Which means we're going to go grab some more. Which is, oh, very easy. So what we'll do is, put this back over here, on this mount, if we can get it in there. It's hard to manoeuvre. Drop it, connect it up, like that. So what we got to do is, we're going to grab this bottle, because we don't need the bottle at the moment. We'll just put these up out of the way. We'll grab our suit, um, suit waste tank, empty it in here. And our CO2 should be filling up. So yeah, it's filling up. That's empty. Put it back in. So now we'll transfer this into here. Turn the valve on. And it should be filling up slowly. It's very annoying to get the carbon. Okay. Oop, did I grab it? Oh, I did. To 18. Um. We don't really have any oxides or volatiles or anything to melt at the moment. And I don't believe there's anything in this pipe, so... Doubt it anyway. So we'll put this back in here, fill it up once again. It's going up a tiny bit, not much though. I'm not, I don't know if that's going to be enough to fill up the whole room. Because the whole room has to be a minimum of, I believe, 6 or 7 kPa. Water plants will die. So, um, we'll keep filling up. Oh, this will be the last one, I reckon. 40. Doesn't go up very much, unfortunately. We'll just take this out and see if it's enough to fill up any major portion of the base. Oop, hit a cable. Okay, we'll mount this tank. Place it down. And just start. this is where we've got to be careful that we don't lose any pressure. Yeah, there's heaps of pressure in here. It's coming out, you can see. But how much is actually in here? Not much at all, is there? This is where we need our iPad to make sure we know how much pressure there is. Push that out like that. It's really cold in here as well. We'll just go grab the iPad really quick. See if there's any noticeable pressure. It's detecting nothing at the moment. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So there's 1 PA of carbon dioxide in here. 6 in here. 15. There's not much in here. And it's really cold inside here as well. Negative 35.8. Okay. It is like 6 or 7 PA, and we need like 6 K PA, so it's like a thousand times more pressure. And there's. Is there any oxygen here? I thought I saw some. Okay, guys, we'll be back. I'm just gonna go get some more carbon dioxide. And then we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. And what I've done is I've connected up the um, CO2 line directly to the base. So all the CO2 we produce has gone directly into here. And you can see it's actually getting pressure in the room now. We're up to 1.3 kPa. And if you hover over this, you can see there's plenty of water in there. Heaps and heaps of water. 
So that water's working. I've also moved the valves to be outside. And I've just noticed that power's off for that regulator. So I'll show you what we've done if we go out here, turn the valve on. If you see on your iPad the pressure's actually disappearing, because the valve is the um active vent sucking it all away. So it should all be disappeared in a second. It's still very, very cold in here though. So we might have to crank a heater up. Okay. See if it's even working, I'm not sure if it's working at all. So there's not much pressure in here, we can just leave now. Okay, so as you can see, the water tank's still connected, but there's a valve here. That connects, the CO2 line connects directly into the base. And it's also got a valve outside of the wall now. So if we just want to turn the pressure regulator on, there we go. Now the water should only go one way. Let's go and have a look if, if our heater is working upstairs. Let's have a look. Jetpack critical. Jetpack's critical. So there's definitely carbon in here. Lots and lots of pressure. That's not good a sign. Whoop. Oh no. That's terrible. And if I have enough jetpack, jetpack for to get back critical. up. There we go. Just made it. So there's carbon dioxide there. Nothing in the output there. And there's not much out there. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, do we have to press start? Oh god. It turned off somehow. Oh, there we go. Now the pressure is actually regulating inside. That would help. God damn. Yep, there's heaps of pressure going in there now. And it's hot as well. See that? 27 degrees. Before it went in, negative 6. It's actually heating up really fast because the air inside's coming in now. That's amazing. So, just a side note. Because I think, I think it turned off because we're riding more power. That's probably why it turned off. So, I'll just show you guys the cable inside really quick. Because it's pretty cool. So it just comes in through here. It's ugly, but for now it's alright, I guess. There's a hole here we gotta fix it, but that's fine. So let's go and have a look inside, see how much pressure's in there. And before we do that, we may actually grab some seeds. Because it could be seed planting time. Organics. Power low. Let's grab power really quick. Power critical. Yeah, it was critical, but it's full now. That sounds really bright. Okay, what do we want to grow? We'll grow some corn, yep. And we don't really need ferns. I'm thinking wheat, because wheat's used for flour, I believe. So, we'll close this really quick. I'm assuming a lot of. Oh, it's water saving. I'm assuming a lot of pressure is going to pop out, ready? Two pressures in here, three per kPa. Yeah, it's definitely going up. It was only at one before. So we don't have enough to plant, but we can plant, because the plants will end up dying. But if you look at the temperature, it's exactly 30 in here, which is exactly what we set the uh, temperature to be. And there's all air circulating around. This is actually so cool, dudes. Um, so what we're going to need to do is make more CO2, because obviously there's not enough pressure in there. But we can turn active vent on. Grab this out, because I just want to see when it's empty in here. So yeah guys, the heating worked, the filtering worked. One thing we need to add before we add more CO2 though, is a way to collect the oxygen that we create. What I mean by that is, we need to go and grab, if, I don't know if we have one spare, we do. We also need to grab, put this away really quick, we need to grab a spare canister which we have as well. And a paint the oxygen white. So I'll paint this really white quick. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's go grab this spring outside. Any oxygen that we get is going to come. If I don't get stuck. It's going to go into this tank right here. Just like that. And of course it's around the wrong way. And these are the ones that are really hard to rotate. Oh, we did it. There we go. So in theory, that should be producing oxygen once the plants are get planted. It's oxygen line. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely not going up now because there's no reason for it to. If we grab the iPad out again, 
there is not much pressure in this tube. So what we want to do is we want to we we'll empty our waste tank in there. See if that helps pressure go up a bit. So we should see the line pressure go up potentially. Yeah, it's going up a tiny bit. 3.2, 3.1. It's going down again because the pressure's obviously gone to the base. Okay. Um, the only other way I can think to produce it is I think lead produces it. If we put lead in there, yeah, that produces it. It's just really, really slow. That's all. But but this is a glitch because it doesn't actually use it if you have that open. And it doesn't make regent mix either. So this is kind of a glitch, a glitch way to do it. I was thinking of making a chute that goes around in a circle to automate the production of CO2. But it is cheating, but for our purposes I don't really mind. So we'll go ahead and grab some chutes. I think we have some spare. Yeah, we do. We'll probably have to move this cable, I mean this um, pipe here. But we can do that really easily. So let's move this. Have a go to the straight route. I'm amazed that this system actually worked as easily as it did. To be honest, I didn't think it would work at all. But yeah, it's working. The only thing we need is extra pressure. Which we're going to do now. I'm wondering, can this curve here... We need to make a corner. There's a corner. That connects that way, that connects that way. And then we need to make this... Oh, we had it. We had it and I wrecked it. There we go. Yeah, it's going to have to go out just as I thought. Because it's hitting this, whatever this is. So make it a straight and then a curve. Uh, the rotation of this is terrible. There we go. Oh, oh, I had it. There we go. Not sure if we can get up. We should be set a should be at a corner here, and then one here, if we can get the collision box in. Just like that, and a straight. Yep. The only thing is, how do we uh, put that in there? Oh, we can't. So in theory, this should do a loop. I'm not sure if it will, but we'll just see right now. Yeah, it does. That's awesome. A TK8 infinite um, CO2. So there we have it. As long as that lever's pulled and it's got... Okay. So what we can do now is drop this. We'll have a look at the iPad. Which is dropped here, isn't it? So you can see the pressure's going up. And it's holding at 3.8. And as soon as this comes around, it's in there again. It spikes up again. A tiny bit. It's not creating much, but it's definitely creating some, which is definitely helping us. What we could do is even have a whole room where all it is is those to generate gases for us. I'm just wondering what other gases would it make? So we'll see in one sec. Yeah, it's creating oxygen as well, which is really, really good for us. I'm just wondering if um, the hydroponic room has enough um, carbon yet to produce plants. It's not much pressure in here. Unfortunately, the temperature dropped as well, but that's probably because new carbon's been pumped into the air. If we look at this, it's 100% CO2 in here. 3.3 kPa. If you look at yeah, there's still water and oxygen in there. It's actually a really cool system, I reckon. 3.74. The pressure's going up, it's just really slow, that's all. That's not really evenly spread. Now to show you guys, if we plant one, you can see it's dying because it doesn't have enough CO2 in the air to breathe. We can't really harvest it, can we? I can't really see because it is. Yeah, it has no sunlight, okay. And it looks wilted. Yeah, so it's dying because it has no um, carbon to breathe, but it's also not growing because it has no sunlight. That's why we don't place it right now, we need more pressure. Okay guys, we'll be back once we have more pressure. Okay guys, the pressure is going up slowly, 
Um, I've noticed that we're getting some nitrogen and some pollutant in here. So what we're going to have to do is add a extra filter upstairs. Um, so we'll just filter out anything that's not CO2. So all the CO2 will come back out here as usual. So it's taken a very long time to actually increase the pressure. You see it just went up by 0.1 or 0.2 kPa. So we're going to have to leave this for a future episode. Um, probably next episode we'll show off how to plant stuff and we'll show it growing. But for now, we're going to have to leave it here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like if you liked the video. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, or ideas for future videos, um, just leave a comment below. If you want to see more content in the future, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.